update, sweet friends. This is Pandemic Gaga's Bible Study, and um, we've got another word picture for you. We're down at the barn, at Michael's barn, my husband's, and the Lord has laid something on his heart as he's working, and you know how I love word pictures. So there's a little tractor, and there he's completely redoing this uh, dirt pan, and so I'll let him take it from here. There's Michael. Hello everyone, uh, today I'm working on this dirt pan and I'm replacing the cutter blade on the dirt pan. And so in the process of doing this, I have to remove these bolts and these bolts have been in the mud and dirt and water and worn and they've been years and years old and they are just impossible to get out. As you can see this, this right here is what we're trying to get out. And they're, they're, the heads wore off, the bolts wore off, it's just really nothing will work can't get it off so what I realized is this right here this little bolt right here kind of represents a saved person kind of represents you uh, as a Christian and then you get out in the world sometimes so we're, what we're going to show here today is how to get this off we're going to show that that the only way to get we've tried everything to get it off it's kind of like life you, you try to you get out in the world and the world does this to you corruption gets a hold of you and you just get so far out there and you look like that and uh, you're saved but you just can't figure out how can I get back so you try to do things on your own you try, you try to clean yourself up you try to get out you try to get out and get back to God so the first thing you do you get your sockets and you get your impact you try to take you try to get the corruption off you try to clean yourself up with this this wouldn't work kind of, kind of like life kind of like a Bible I mean, like life. You try everything before you try God. And then we, so we tried this. Uh, this wouldn't work. We tried a little this. This wouldn't work. We tried this. This wouldn't work. And this wouldn't work. We tried a brush. We tried heat. And that wouldn't work. We tried the hammer and chisel. And it still wasn't getting it. And, and when we tried the uh, impact, all it did was just strip around the head, strip the head off the bolt. So then I thought, you know, this is for, this is kind of, I got to think about it as I was doing it. When I figured out how to do it, I thought about my pastor, Brother, Ro Brother Ronnie, and I realized this is kind of like the song he sings, Take Me Through the Fire Again. And if you know anything about steel and bolts, they're made from molten steel. It's been melted down and poured and formed into bolts and nuts. And so the only so we got corruption here, and so we're going. The only way we can get get back to God, the only way to get back, is He has to take us through the fire again. And so that's what I'm going to show you is how we're going to get this corrupt person back back in back in a relationship with God. First of all, I probably should move these things out of the way before I torch them. Now, first of all, if, if you want to get back to God, first thing you're going to do is you kind of got to clean yourself up a little bit. You kind of you kind of want to get close to God. So first thing you're probably going to do, you're probably going to start getting in his word. Uh, you try, you're trying to get close to God, so you got to start seeking God. You can't clean yourself up. You gave up on all these things. wouldn't work. So you start turning to God. And so the first thing you do, you start reading the word. <laughs> This inner part right here, this is you. This is your heart and soul right here. This is you, the saved person. We just got into the Word, and we cleaned off a little bit of the rough edges, and we're realizing, you know, we can't do this without God. So we, we've, got to, we've got to turn to God. Uh, so now we've got all this corruption on here. We're, we're going to, only, only God can, 
take this away. Only God can can burn this corruption away, take this corruption away from you. So, and the way he does it, he takes you through that fire again. So now we're gonna take it through the fire. You'll notice while we're heating this up that it, it, all the corruption burns away and it's red hot and you can see the, you can see your soul, you can see you in the middle of this. He doesn't just heat you up, he burns it away. All this corruption burning off. You see, it's all red hot around the outside, all the corruption. The inner part is still, is still there. Still see your soul. God still sees you and he's burning off the corruption. Now he's got the corruption burn off. Burn off. Once God burns the corruption off, then he starts showering you with blessings. You start seeing God work in your life. You'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll see God in everything you do, every way you turn. He's right there with you. He just keeps flooding you with blessings. There's more blessings, more blessings. Now, we're going, we're going to see if, he, if all this corruption will come off. There you are. All the corruption, there's your soul. God took you through the fire again. Thank you. No way to get out, but take you through the fire. Now we understand the testing of God, why he puts us through the test and through the fire sometimes. He always has a purpose. Thank you, Mike Bill. You're welcome.